What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're talking about Terrifier 2 in this video here again today. Now I know in my last video I talked about Damien Leon telling everyone to go subscribe over to his YouTube channel so you can be notified of course when the trailer for Terrifier 2 drops and he also stated that release info seems like it what I can assume will be attached to said trailer to let you know where you can be expecting to watch this movie later this fall and what date I guess you could also be watching it on. However, more recently, one of the producers involved with the movie came out and shared some comments on the finale that's coming, of course, in this inevitable movie when it gets released. So Steve Barton, who worked on Terrifier 2, had some comments to make about this finale, apparently, that's going to be seen in the in the movie once it's released. And he said, I promise you this is on Instagram. I promise you this. Lauren Lavera and David Howard Thorne deliver a blood-soaked horror film finale for the ages. Minds will be blown. Hashtag Terrifier 2. Nothing can prepare you. David Howard Thorne, who we know plays Art the Clown, chimed in saying, Damn right, we're going to change the game. Now, in the original Terrifier, from my memory, what I can recall, you had Victoria, who was like the last one standing and she was getting help by a custodian or something like that and then ultimately it led up to the one of the most insane things i've seen depicted on on screen we didn't get to see it like all in depth but she of course gets her face eaten and we find out she's the woman or the person from the beginning of the movie that's the twist that we tie up into by the uh, end of the movie where we see that she's the disfigured face woman from the beginning of the movie she's the woman that attacked that other person as well at the start of that movie that's all wrapped up in that nice twist and we know we have art getting transported to another uh hospital like facility or morgue like facility and then he attacks the person working on him and the movie just cuts to black now with this one from the steals that have been released with her with lauren lavara that being in her costume and you know art the clown david howard Thornton being in his get up for as art the clown it looks like there's going to be some type of blood drenched 1v1 that goes on how they can top the insanity of what i saw in the first one I don't know maybe I would imagine you're of course just going to try to outdo yourself in terms of the gore that's depicted on screen and the fact that it's going to be what I again am assuming is going to be some type of 1v1 battle between Lauren LaVar's character and Art the Clown then you have a chance to possibly portray again one of the most I guess as they're calling it one of the most uh, game changing finales between a horror villain or a final girl and the person that's been stalking them the entire movie if she does indeed get to fight back in the manner in which I'm depicting in my head. So I'm hoping that with Terrifier 2 they are going to be able to outdo themselves. I'm not expecting the movie to be anything that's of course Oscar worthy or anything like that but like I've stated before I'm just hoping that Damien Leone takes an approach that speaks to this movie being more character driven and allows the movie to focus on developing and fleshing out the characters first before we start seeing them get killed as the movie progresses into the eventual madness that ensues with art the clown and everyone else that gets caught in his path how this finale goes out and how we get to the finale that of course is something we'll have to wait and see for the movie when it's released we could get glimpses of that in the trailer when it releases um as far as when the trailer's coming out we still don't know that I thought when I made that video because of the fact that they had told us to subscribe I was thinking okay they're gonna do something this week but more recently it's just of course been no there's no trailer that's been released it's mostly now just people hyping up that the trailer is coming now you have this producer hyping up the finale and you know everyone is still just waiting they're doing a good job getting you hyped I would say and getting you built up for what they are going to deliver I have faith that they'll deliver with this movie before anything regarding jeepers creepers 4 for any of you who watch my jeepers creepers 4 videos but it's just like okay we want it everybody's already hyped everybody's already ready to see it everybody wants to see art the clown everybody wants to see what other things you have in place for this movie because of the fact that you know it's been like what over a year since the first teaser i think i think the original teaser came out early 2021 and we haven't had anything since because of the fact that everything's been on pause due to everything going on in the world. But now everything, of course, is trying to get back to how it was. And, you know, you can release movies again. So with Terrifier 2, that I believe was supposed to be put out sometime in 2020. 
but then also it got shut down as well because it of course got caught up in all this other stuff so hopefully we will get to see the trailer in the near future sometime very close hopefully next week that's just what i'm hoping for hopefully sometime next week and we get to see what we might be expecting in terms of how we get to this finale that is game changing because i'm now depicting in my head something involving a very memorable 1v1 between a final girl and the person that's been stalking said final girl the whole movie something that's going to send the fandom into a or the horror the horror fandom into a complete discussion about final girls and how important they are to the series or to the genre and as far as like having minds being blown i do just also want to say that this of course is just buzzwords the movie's finale could be very tame to certain people in terms of what you might be accustomed to watching might not hold a candle to or might not be able to um, get outdone with Terrifier 2's finale. This is, of course, coming to us from the perspective of the producer who worked with the movie. So from what they were able to see, this is something that is a finale for the ages. Minds will be blown. Nothing can prepare us for it. Again, all things to get you hyped. So, of course, there's still going to be people who watch it and say, oh, that wasn't all that. It was, I've seen better finales. So, again, with that in mind, don't take everything that is being said, of course, to the literal sense. I'm just now expecting it on my own end to be something that's game changing. That is what I'm expecting in the sense of, again, I, I feel like we're going to get some type of epic 1v1 brawl between the final girl character, Art the Clown. Maybe we get to see some of Art's powers on display, too, uh, because we know he's supernatural. Maybe we see some different powers on display from Art the Clown this time around in this finale with this character. And we'll see who comes out on top of the end. My money's going to, of course, be on Art the Clown so that we can get a terrifier three but we'll see how all that plays out we'll see when this trailer releases what we can expect from the trailer we'll see if there's any new official stills to come out damon leon again has stressed that you need to go over to that youtube channel and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you can be alerted when the trailer drops and get the release info but as for me if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description so that you, in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video